Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through an example on how to design a weld and also a simple end plate connection to design some bolts. So we're going to be specifically designing a fillet weld and there's two things which you need to know about the fillet weld. One is the throat thickness and also the leg length. The leg length is actually what you specify. So if you see a six mil fillet weld, that's actually the leg length, not the throat thickness. So in this design example, we're going to be designing the welds and we're going to be welding a plate to a PFC channel. There's going to be three contact points for the welds, so we need to make sure that we account for this. So the plate is going to have a 250 kilonewton design force. The plate is 100 mil wide, 12 mil thick, and is going to be welded to the PFC with 100 mil length. We will also be assuming that the grade of steel is going to be S275. This design is going to be to the Euro codes and the code which you want to be looking at is 1.8 design of joints. If I reference any equations or tables, it's from that code. So like any design to the Euro codes, we need to check that the design weld force is going to be less than the design weld resistance. Remember, it's always good to draw a diagram to make sure that you fully understand what needs to be designed and also to make sure that the reader knows what you're designing. So what we want to do first is to find the design weld force per unit length. So all you need to do is divide the design force by the weld length, which is 300 mil. And that gives a design weld force of 830 newtons per millimeters. So now we need to work out the design weld resistance and that's simply the shear strength times by the throat thickness. Fu is the nominal ultimate tensile strength of the weaker part of the joint. Beta W is the appropriate correlation factor taken from table one. Gamma M2 is the material safety factor taken from table 2.1. work out the throat thickness, all we need to do is take the design force and divide by the shear strength which we just calculated and that gives us 3.55 millimeters. I mentioned earlier that you don't specify welds by the throat thickness, you specify welds by the leg length. So to calculate the leg length, all you need to do is divide the throat thickness by 0.7 and that will give you your leg length. In this case, the leg length comes to 5.07, so we'll round up to 6 mil. Next, we're moving on to the design of a simple pin joint end plate connection detail. So what we want to do is to determine the number of bolts and the size of the bolts. Next we want to determine the bolt layout and then also design the weld. The design force is 400 kilonewtons, the plate steel grade is S275 and the bolt grade is going to be 8.8. .8. So we're going to try M20 bolts in single shear. The bolt capacity is given in this equation. You can find the values in tables 3.4 and 3.1. So we simply plug in the numbers into the equation and we get a bolt capacity of 94.1 kilonewtons. To work out the number of bolts, we simply divide the design shear force by the bolt capacity. We'll round up to an even number, so we need to provide six M20 bolts with a grade of 8.8. .8. So now we need to work out the bolt spacing or the layout. So the first thing we need to do is to work out what the clearance hole is. This is denoted by D0 and it's simply the bolt diameter plus two, which is 22 mil. Now we need to work out what the minimum distances are. So the first one we'll be working out is the end distance, E1, then the edge distance, then the vertical spacing, and then the horizontal spacing. Okay, now moving on to calculating the weld. It's gonna be very similar to the first example I'd shown you. So if you followed that, this will be a breeze. So we're gonna try a six mil fillet weld, and then we're gonna calculate the weld strength. Using the same values as from the previous example, we simply plug in the numbers and we can get the design shear strength. So to get the weld strength, all we need to do is multiply the shear strength by the throat thickness. To get the throat thickness, all we need to do is multiply the leg length by 0.7. To get the length of weld required, all we need to do is divide the design force by the weld strength. In this case, this gives us a length of 407.5 millimeters. Because we provide the welds on both sides of the web, we can provide a depth of 205 mil, which will still give us an adequate amount of weld length. Now to finish it off, all we need to do is draw the detail so that we can show the bolt arrangement and also the welds.
The distances which I provide is actually going to be greater than the minimum. I'm putting the minimums in brackets. The minimum values are what we calculated earlier. And that's the end of the design example. If you've enjoyed the video or you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe, and smash that notification bell to get notified for my next videos. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Cheers.